To everybody who's been supportive of me in the last couple of months, I just want to say that I really appreciate it. You know, I'm doing my best in the track at the moment, and uh, you know, keep behind Paralympic sport. It's really needed, and um, you know, I think the, the athletes, I know the athletes really appreciate the support. And you know, from my side, I'd just like to say thanks once again. So thank you. Now, with, with the focus on the Olympics, um, does anybody even ask you about the Paralympics and your goals there? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have been uh, quite intrigued, you know, if I go to the Olympics or get the opportunity, will I still be going to the Paralympics? And it's a definite yes. Um, you know, it's we're still working extremely hard. I know my coach is still grinding me on the 100 meters. It's still going to be a very competitive race at the Paralympics and the 200. Um, and it looks at the moment like I'll be doing the one, two and the four at the Paralympics. So I'm extremely excited about that. And, you know, it's also just around the corner. So I'm pretty excited and, and I'm sure it'll be OK. Growing up, uh, the way I grew up, participating in able-bodied sport my whole life and then um, getting involved in disabled sports, uh, the one thing I've learned about disabled sports is, you know, where they combine the classes of disabilities is you might be in a race which you have no chance in winning, but the athlete will persevere just to beat their own self, you know, to, to better their own record. And I think in, in sport that's very important. It's definitely learned me, uh, taught me a lot. And, uh, you know, if I look at some of the Paralympic athletes, even if they know they're coming uh, last or second last, you know, they're still trying just to beat their time. And after the race, you'll still see them with a smile on their face because it's not about trying to be uh, better than the next guy. It's trying to beat yourself every race. And that's where it falls back with my coach says to me often, rather come second and, and run a good time than come first in a race and run a bad time. If we have the Paralympics now, uh, all the Olympics be trying to do the, 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 the preparations exactly the same as we would have. So if I make it, I make it. If I don't, I don't. Uh, obviously, you know, it's something that we've got the opportunity to, to get to now and I'd really like the opportunity to go. So we are working as hard as we can, but if it doesn't happen, then, then surely in the future, I'm sure it will. How do you ha handle the whole uh, media attention? I think it's um, I think it's very easy when you have people uh, you know around you that support you and help you, and um, the tension's luckily been gradual over the last couple of years. So I think I've got used to it quite easily. But um, it's nice to have people to keep your your feet on the ground, even if you don't have any. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's really easy with the, the support that I have from from my friends, my family, and obviously my coach. We've had to unfortunately put athletics as, as a second priority and once again now we've got the opportunity to, to focus on it and just train and um, you know I think the pressure from, from everything else has been lifted and although the pressure is a lot now for me to train and, and get back in shape it's, it's a different pressure and it's one that I welcome so it puts a smile on my face at least. Yeah I'd, I'd still love to qualify for the Olympics, um, I have to qualify for the Olympics in an IAAF sanctioned event. I have to run at least a B standard. Um, for the relay team and I'll probably have to run A standard for, for the individual. Um, I don't think the time is what I wanted. It was uh, a bit slower than we'd hoped for. Um, but you know, we've been training every day this the last two and a half weeks, and I don't think it's realistic to be training every day and then expect to run good times when the competitions come. But unfortunately, you know, at the time that we've been left, we need to train every day. And um, yeah, I think it's it's obviously every athlete has a day, but I don't think 
uh, you know, today was, was one of the great ones. I think I'm going to have to go back and, and focus a bit more on, on uh, my preparation and, and, you know, what I'm doing and, and think about it and think about where I can maybe work on a bit for the next race. Oscar, you've got many more years ahead of you, but when you retire, what would you like to be remembered as? An elite athlete or a person who challenged people's perception of disability? I think it would be someone that was an was a elite athlete, but also who uh, brought Paralympic sport the recognition that it deserved. Um, I think I'd be really happy with just that.